We scaled it out, okay? What was next? Roll into a ball. What was the next thing we did? Poke the hole through, and next? Let it rise, okay. What was next? And what was the powder that we put in there? Malt powder, right. Okay, and then how long did we have it in the malt powder water? Okay, and then what did we do next? What did we have to spread on the parchment paper? Corn flour, okay. So now, we're just baking. So we have about 18 minutes left for the first set of four. So, um, if you go and have a bagel and the bagel shop really has their stuff together, when you go up and order your bagel, if they are really good at making bagels, you will get a warm bagel. And there's nothing in the world like a warm bagel with a little bit of warm cream cheese on it. Yes? Okay. You want to bring them right over here. Okay, so let's go over the recipe without looking at the recipe. Everybody turn the recipes over. Without looking at the recipe. What are the four things for the basic ingredients of a bagel? Somebody? Flour, yeast, water, salt. Okay, now what kind of yeast did we use today? I, I don't want to hear from the same person. Okay, why instant yeast? Because it doesn't matter what you put in the water. Awesome, okay, now. Um, in order for the bagel dough to rise, what kind of environment does it need to be in? Warm. Warm well, why? Because yes. Okay, okay, now, um, if I added in active yeast and I added cold water on top of that, would my uh, dough rise? Why wouldn't it rise? Good answer, okay. Now, um, with it being flour, salt, yeast, and water, what is the importance of salt in the recipe? Okay, what else does it do? Somebody said it earlier. Yes, yeah, salt preserves. So. Um, these bagels, you can either freeze them and they'll last for three months, or if you leave them out on the counter, they'll last a week. And that's because of the salt. You ever leave something out on the counter and forget about it? What happens to it? Mold. And usually, stuff lasts less longer when you make it from scratch. When you buy it from the store, there's all kind of preservatives in it that make it last even longer. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, and tell me about the flavor of bagels we had today. Just name me one. Orange cabaret. Cinnamon raisin. Okay, and then what was the last flavor? Plain. Oh, there's one more. Sesame, okay. You can just leave them right there. Perfect. Can I get somebody to sweep around the table for me? Okay, thank you. Yep, this table right here. So once he sweeps around the table, I'm gonna do a little demonstration, and I'm gonna show you how I shape a loaf of bread. Now, before I explain the flavors to you today with the bagels, did anybody have a flavor in mind that they wanted to make? Did anybody already have a flavor in their head they wanted? You, knew, you wanted to do blueberry? Okay. I don't have any blueberries. The kitchen has blueberries, but they were already accounted for. Now, um, if I take a fresh blueberry, what I have to do if I'm gonna use it in a bagel is I have to put it in the oven on 300 and I have to leave it in there for three hours so it dehydrates and all the liquid comes out of it. Because if I take a fresh blueberry, what's in a fresh blueberry? Liquid. So liquid is bad for bagels. 
The only part for bagels is when you boil it and that's it. All right, so one thing with a bagel you'll notice when it comes out of the oven and you touch it. Can anybody tell me how to figure out when bread is done? There's different, there's a couple of signs that you can look for. Golden brown is one. Anybody want to take a guess? So when I take the bagels out of the oven, I'm going to take my index finger and I'm going to tap on it. If it sounds like it's hollow, I know the inside has been fully baked. And then the bottom, you want to have a look at the bottom to make sure that the, um, the bottom shouldn't be golden brown. It just should have a light color to it. But you'll notice that the corn flour has adhered to it. Okay? So then um, you never want to cut right away hot bread out of the oven. Does anybody know why? Okay, so Anybody? If you cut bread that's been taken out of the oven right away, it could possibly get soggy. So you have to let the steam relax and then you can cut it. So say about five minutes, okay? And that's with any kind of bread. That's with regular white bread. That's with cinnamon rolls. So I'm gonna spray my cupcake pan. How do I check if the dough's done? What do I do? Put my index finger inside. If it stays, I know my dough is completely relaxed and ready. If it would spring back, is it ready? Okay. Does anybody know what makes it so soft and tender and totally flavorful? The secret to a, a Hawaiian roll is pineapple juice. Oh. You notice it's slightly sweet? Okay, so again, we take our hands like this. Can everybody do that for me? And I'm gonna hold on to it, press down, and I'm gonna roll really fast. Now, I need a little bit of a slick surface, so I'm gonna spray the surface. Now, when I was in college, the teacher wanted you to do it with two hands. That way you can move faster in production. Then I'm gonna put them in there. Why don't you jump in and help me? Let's do it. Don't be nervous. Come on in. Help me out. Help a brother out. Yeah. And take a sharp knife, and I can do a crisscross pattern. And it'll open up like a flower. The next thing I can do is I can do the outside. I can leave this roll exactly how it is. Now, I'm gonna do something different here. At the right temperature, you're not gonna get the exact finished product. So, um, we probably could have rolled this one a little bit tighter. That's fine. But these one are for the general, for the most part, they're a bagel. Now, um, this one is not the issue from the person um, boiling it. I think this is more of an oven issue because if you notice, the outside is a little darker, but the inside is not as dark, okay? This one looks pretty good. If you look at the bottom and the top, pretty good. These bagels here have a very nice shape to them. Very nice shape. This reminds me of uh, the pizza bagels that they sell in the frozen section of the store, you know? These look pretty good. Now, if I tap on it, everybody listen. Do you hear that? That means it's hollow. So these bagels look very good. Somebody likes everything seasoning. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, now let's talk about these bagels. So, the other thing is, when you heat up coconut flakes in the oven, what do you think happens? They or they caramelize, or they brown, right? So, this is just a result of the coconut browning. I'm feeling it, I'm tapping it because it's um, hollow inside, that means it's done. So, for the most part, let's give ourselves a round of applause. And, 
The biggest thing is this is your first time making bagels. And for your very first time, I think they came out great.